Hello and Happy New Year. Welcome to the place where we put your well-being first. And we are going to look at or kick off the year, my first video of the year, we're looking about keeping that healthy mindset. So how to stay productive in the cold, dark winter months. Because winter can often be challenging for most people. So there's less sunlight, it's the darker nights and obviously shorter days. But of course, it's the colder weather. And of course, January can feel really long. It can feel really depressing and of course after all the Christmas lights and sort of the brightness we see around us it can feel rather drab as well so of course there's a lot of pressure felt in January so are you someone who feels this if you are do drop in the comments share your thoughts because others do too and obviously we want to support each other particularly when it comes to our well-being so we're going to look at the things that we can do to actually take care of our bodies okay so you might not be able to run around in the sunlight as much but there are still things that you can do because your mental and physical health is never more important than it is in the dark and cold okay so let's look at some strategies okay so number one okay we'll kick off with number one so number one is about sleep now if you're somebody who doesn't get enough sleep at night that's okay but we want to make sure we get quality sleep and we want to get the best night's sleep for us okay so if you're someone before i say you need seven to nine hours and you're gonna go no 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 if you're someone who doesn't get the ideal amount Think about improving the quality of your sleep and of course the length of sleep. I have got other videos directly on sleep on this channel, so do um, link up to those. And of course, I can obviously drop them in if you need them, so let me know. Okay, but it's important for us to stick to a regular sleep pattern. So bedtimes, getting up, so that you can get at least quality rest, okay? And this obviously boosts your mood and of course how you feel generally, but also boosts your body's health. Because when you sleep, your body and mind sort of rest, but they also recover and repair. So all the essential repairs that we need happen when you're asleep. So it's natural, it's free, and of course it's loaded with those benefits. And of course, don't forget to keep your bedroom focused on sleep and rest, okay? So we don't want laptops in there, we don't want it thinking about a workspace. If we can, we wanna make sure it's designed for sort of sleep and of course the resting state, okay? So create that environment as well. Now, physical activity. Now, we know, it's, I'm not telling you something that you don't know here, okay? Because physical activity is important no matter what your age or ability, right? You know this, okay? But of course, it's even more important now while it's winter because this is actually a mood booster, okay? So those natural endorphins, the feel-good hormones that come out. And of course, when you're feeling slow and sluggish, it can actually give you more energy as well. But also, you know the age old saying, I'm sure you've heard this, our summer bodies are built in the winter, okay? So if you're thinking, oh, I've got a holiday in six months, then of course start now, this is the time, okay? But also, it can also give you that something to do, okay? So you don't have to go to the gym, you don't have to think about going out to a fancy place or a specific studio or anything like that. Obviously, there are plenty of things online that you can do for free and in the comfort of your comfort of your own home all right and of course obviously you can obviously call a friend and get friend support and of course get involved in some way shape or form the other way that you can obviously move if you haven't done so already pop on those tunes i'm sure you've done this over christmas if you have let us know because i'm big for this in fact i was dancing around the office today but pop on those tunes and just get the body moving and just put a smile on your face have some fun with it okay that's number two, okay? So we've got three more guys. So we're gonna look at staying productive in winter and the things that we can do. But the big thing overall is also holding yourself accountable. When you're feeling slow and sluggish, the last thing that you can do is sort of get up and move your body or maybe go to bed early, have a good night's sleep. You may wanna just switch up on the sofa. But these things actually help you be more productive and stay focused, okay? Particularly in January, we wanna set ourselves up for a great year ahead. This is the great time to start keeping that focus, okay? So number three, it's about the foods we eat, okay? Again, it's something you know, healthy eating is not a new concept. And of course, after Christmas, we can actually feel the weight of the binge, okay? now. You may be someone doing dry January. You may be on some other sort of, let's say, diet. I'm going to use inverted commas because I don't like that word, okay? But 
What is so important is whatever it is that we're doing now more than ever is that we eat the foods that boost our immune system to boost our body's natural strength. Now, this doesn't mean you're never going to get things. It just means you're stronger to deal with them if you do, okay, or they hit you in a less severe way. Okay, it also helps your energy. Yes, we're back to the energy thing because if you're someone who suffers in for the low energy, the low mood, not feeling great during winter, actually eating good foods can actually boost your energy and make you feel better. Okay, so obviously, try to limit processed foods, sugary snacks, all these sorts of things that you've probably had a little bit much of over Christmas. I know that I've had one or two extra more than I would normally. But again, we just want to look at getting some good fruit, some good vegetables. And of course, if you're meaty, so fishy, so then of course, some good quality foods as well. But you can eat very healthy and be vegetarian because I am. Okay. So I know it is possible. And I also know some very healthy vegans as well. Okay. But that's also so important for everything we do. Okay. Food impacts everything. Okay. Now, number four is about practicing self-care. Now, often we also talk about self-care as in, you know, something we need to do to take a break. Okay. You may feel I've just had a break. I don't want to take any more break. Okay. Self-care is about allowing yourself the recharge, but it's doing the things that make you feel good. Okay. So ask yourself, what's going to make me feel good right now? Okay, try and do something every single day if you can, if not every week. So it could be that hot bath, okay, which is great for that. It may be just having a few marshmallows on your hot chocolate because it's winter and it's cold and you want something to snuggle up. It's going to be your treat and that sort of reward for working hard over the week, okay? You may want to just take some time to be quiet and read a book or it may be listen to music. It may be anything, okay? Basically, the key is what do you enjoy, okay? You are not me, I am not you, you are not the person next to you. And of course, if you've got something that's really fun that you love to do, do share it, okay? My favorite thing is actually like macrame, macrame, so the tying of knots and creating things. I can get lost in hours. Or indeed, getting cards out, playing patience, okay? Sounds so simple, but sometimes the simplest things are the best, okay? Now, when we do this, obviously we help alleviate stress, anxiety, but it boosts the mood. Again, it's that mood booster okay you're doing things that you enjoy and of course that make you feel good now the last one okay so number five when it's dark it's cold it's gray it's about staying connected with friends and family i know i've forgotten messages more than ever over christmas because i've had disconnecting time in fact if i go on my socials i know there's my inbox has got messages okay so if if that's you i'm sorry I am coming back to it. I'm now back at work and things like that. But I took the break, okay? And if you're the same, obviously you know how that feels, okay? You kind of need that break and recharge. But even now, when we're going back into things, it shouldn't be the things that you have to do. It's also about doing the things you want to do. So again, I said this before Christmas, okay? You haven't always got time to connect to everybody. So try to connect to your closest five at least, okay? Try to make sure there's someone you regularly check in with. And of course you do share a smile. It's not just talking, how was your day and the boring chit chat. Maybe start doing a little quiz on each other or playing a little game together or something like that. So something, so you break sort of the routine, the monotony of going, hey, how you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Okay, because although that's good, Often we go autopilot and we always say, I'm fine. When actually we're sat there going, I kind of need a hug or I kind of just want to laugh. Can you make me smile or something? Okay. So share your interests and of course, encourage each other to do something. Maybe get out for that little walk or move your body. Maybe you want to get on a video call and do some exercise together. Okay. Whatever it is, do something that you enjoy. So hopefully, guys, you found this useful. If you do and you think there's some good tips in here, obviously hit that thumbs up. If there's something else that you may be struggling with or maybe you think would add value, drop it in the comments. Otherwise, again, Happy New Year. Let's set up for a great 2024. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.